Hello everyone, we will continue the topic cross applications and yes, we finished with the part that how to send the material from one client of SAP to another client of SAP. Yes, in the source client, outbound IDOC generated and in the receiver client, we have a corresponding inbound IDOC and yes, with the help of that same to same material passed to the receiver client and we are able to check. Now we choose the option pass IDOC immediately. That's why there's nothing, there's no need to do anything from our end. Whenever outbound IDOC generated, yes, with the help of that corresponding IDOC, we have the inbound IDOC that IDOC passed immediately and yes, the material is available in the client 200 after that. But if, if I will go for collect IDOC, in that case, what will happen? The IDOCs will be collected. They will not pass immediately. You have to do the processing so that they will pass to the receiver client so that the corresponding inbound IDOCs will generate. And this is totally depends upon the project. Sometimes projects is saying, okay, we will not do anything. Whenever we have outbound, there must be a corresponding inbound. And yes, materials should be available in the receiver client with 200 in our scenario. But yes, if sometimes if project is saying no, we will do the separate processing that these these things should go to the receiver client then in that case we will go for collect idoc the idocs will be collected and we will do the processing that whatever the idocs we will process whatever the materials are there only they will be in the receiver client suppose i will show you and now I will go for collect IDOC option. I will go for save. Now what I will do, I will create a material now through MM01. I will go to MM01 transaction code. Suppose I will give the material. Suppose I am saying material underscore 200 underscore 2 suppose. I will choose industry sector, suppose pharmaceuticals, material type, additional suppose. I will take basic data one. I will give the description. Suppose I will go for same to same description. I will pass unit of measurement. I will go for save. Now I created this Material. Now I will go for BD10 transaction code. You all know you can send the materials through BD10 transaction code. And if I will show you WE02 in our client hunter. So if I will show you the last IDOC, last IDOC is at 24. Similarly, if I will show you 200 client also. If I will go to 200 client, this is our 200 client so that we can recognize fully. In this, the last IDOC is generated at 24 itself. Now, what I will do, I will pick the, the material created in client 100. Now, I will go to BD10 transaction code. Now, I will simply pass the material, material underscore 200 underscore 2. I will go for OK. I will go for OK. I will go for OK. Now, in the previous case, when we have the option pass IDOC immediately, then what happened? Outbound IDOC generated 
IDOC passed immediately corresponding inbound IDOC generated and yes, material created in the receiver client. Now, in this case, only only the outbound IDOC will generate because we are saying we are collecting the IDOC. We are not passing the IDOCs immediately. Suppose if I will show you here now. Now, if I will go for 100 client, this is our 100 client. If I will refresh, if I will go for last, last we have this 27. Now, you can clearly, clearly understand in the previous case, we have the status in the green color. Now we have the status in the yellow color, yellow color. Now, if I will double click, this is our IDOC. And if I will go for the status, you can see the status is up to 30 only. IDOC is ready for dispatch, ready for dispatch. Now, if I will show you the previous IDOC, when we choose the option pass values immediately, if I will go for that IDOC, this is, I will just go to WE02 in another session so that you can understand fully. I will go for partner port. I will go to execute. Now, if I will show you that particular IDOC, This was the IDOC number 10418. It was in green color. And the last status was 3. What is the meaning of 3? Yes, data passed to the port. Okay. IDOC sent to the external program or SAP system. Now we are not going for pass IDOC immediately. We are collecting the IDOC and when we collecting the IDOC, it is status is up to 30 only 0, 1, 30, but three status is not there. If you are going for pass IDOC immediately, only in that case, 0, 3 status will be there else we have the status up to 30 only. Now, in the previous case, when we did BD10, after that, we are able to see a inbound IDOC in receiver client, but nothing. Now we will not be able to find a inbound IDOC in receiver client. Suppose if I will go for receiver client, this is our 200. If I will refresh, now if I will go to the last, there will not be any any inbound IDOC last is 24 only because we have just collected the IDOC. We have not processed the IDOC in the previous option. Yes, IDOC generated it processed it passed to the receiver system and we are able to see the material. Now in this current scenario, we are collecting the IDOC. Now, if you want to generate a corresponding inbound IDOC for the same, and if you want to flow this material to the client 200, we need to do a separate processing. The simple understanding in case of pass values immediately, the processing will be handled automatically. But in case of collect IDOC, we need to do a separate processing. Now, I will simply, simply take this IDOC number. This IDOC is 10526. Now, I will go to BD87 transaction code. So many times we covered this particular transaction code. When we reprocess the IDOC, we use this transaction code. When we track the IDOC, we use this transaction code. Now for processing of this IDOC also, we will go for BD87 transaction code. And the IDOC number is 
I will go to execute. Now, IDOC is ready for dispatch, but it has not passed to the external system. Now, I will simply, simply process. I will go for process. I will go for OK. Now, the IDOC status. Now, you can see the new status is 03. IDOC sent to the SAP system or external program. If I will refresh this, if I will show you now 10526, if I will refresh, now you can see 10526, which is the last, it is in green color now. Now, if I will show you what is the last status now, data IDOC sent to the SAP system or external program. Now, if I will go to now 200 client, we will be able to see the corresponding inbound IDOC. If I will go to 200 client, this is our 200 client. I will refresh. Now, if I will scroll down and show you, we will get a corresponding inbound IDOC 3855 and it is in green color. Previously, it was not there at all. Now, if I will double click, now you can recognize fully. If I will click here, same to same material is available in client 200. Now, if I will go to MM03 transaction code, now we have the material in client 200. Now we have the material available in the client 200. Now, if I want to track what is the corresponding outbound IDOC number for this inbound IDOC, I can simply, simply go to BD87. This BD87, now I am doing in receiver client, receiver client, because we want to check what is the corresponding outbound IDOC number for this inbound. This is our IDOC number. I will pass. I will check what is the corresponding IDOC number. Again, I will check. W is 0 2. I will go to the last. Yes, 3855. 3855. If I will go to execute, if I want to trace the IDOC, I will simply select first. Now you can see 10526. If I will show you in 100 client, 10526. So this is the corresponding outbound IDOC number for this inbound in 200 client. Extremely important concept. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we I showed you the demo of collect IDOC. We have two radio buttons, pass values immediately, pass IDOC immediately or collect IDOC. In case of pass IDOC immediately, what will happen? The IDOC will pass immediately to the receiver system. Corresponding inbound IDOC will generate and we are able to see the materials. Nothing has to be done from our end. But if you will go for collect IDOC, in that case, what will happen? The, you are collecting the IDOC. So your IDOCs are in the source client itself. It is not, we, we are not doing anything with the receiver client. If you want that, that particular IDOC should pass and the corresponding inbound IDOC should generate. In that case, you should separately do a process to process the IDOCs. Now, BD87 is the transaction code. 
by which we can process the IDOC. And you can see the importance of BD87. You can reprocess the error IDOC. In this case, our status is in yellow color. It has not processed completely. So we process through BD87. If you want to track the IDOC, we did through BD87. So in all these things, BD87 is playing a vital role. Once we process through BD87, we are able to see the corresponding inbound IDOC in client 200. And yes, we are able to see the material and we are able to track the IDOC also. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.